What is up YouTube? So I am finally filming with my new setup. I've got a external microphone, I've got a ring light, I've changed my beauty room around, I've moved my desk fresh. So basically we are starting fresh, filming fresh. I came up with this look for you guys. It's a black grungy smoky eye that can be really glamorous and really sexy but if you want it can be really grungy and just like edgy chic if you know what I'm saying. So it's a lot of highlight, a lot of black and yeah so please stick around I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I don't know how I feel about my eyelashes please let me know. Let me know what you think of my setup. If you can hear the autofocus I'm so sorry I'm still working on this, this whole thing. Let me know what you guys think of my ring light, of my microphone, of my makeup, of everything. Don't forget to follow me on my social media and I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, so for this look, I am going to start off with my eyes. So I'm just going to use my NYX eyeshadow primer just to prime my eyelids. And I'm going to use my finger to blend that out. Okay, because I feel like we're going for such a dramatic and bold look today, I'm going to start, not start, but I'm going to do my eyebrows now. Um, and I'm just going to use my e.l.f. eyebrow kit in medium. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fill my brows and then I'm gonna come back and show you. Okay, now I'm just gonna carve out my eyebrows and I'm gonna use a flat synthetic brush and this Cryolene Cake Foundation in the shade Ivory. I'm not sure if you guys can even see what I'm doing, but I'm basically gonna use this just to highlight and really carve out. So you should have your eyebrows basically just carved out like that. I'm just kind of going to blend out that concealer. I didn't cake it on too thick. I'm still kind of playing around with this, this method. Right now I'm going to, I think I'm going to zoom you guys in for this part. I'm now going to go in with the shade Beaches and Cream from Makeup Geek. It's just a really skin tone kind of shade. Big fluffy brush and I'm just going to set basically that primer. It's going to go slightly over where we concealed just to really set it down. Okay now because we're going to be doing black and it's going to be grungy and it's going to be hectic. <sighs> Isn't the most irritating thing ever when you're looking for something and you just can't find your shit? Only to realize it was on my desk in front of me this whole time. Anyway, oh, so please let me know if the autofocus on my camera is really irritating. I hope you guys can't hear it autofocusing the whole time. But yeah, let me know if it, if it is really, really annoying. So I'm going to go in. Where, where was I? Oh, yes. So I'm going to go in with a gel eyeliner um, and I'm going to use one of these really funny little like spongy brushes um, and I'm going to apply this oh, this is dried out a bit I'm going to apply this to my eyelid just on a side note you don't have to be perfect with this at all you just want to kind of get it in a general placement area. Right, so now I'm going to go back into my Makeup Geek palette and I'm going to take the shade Frappe, which is just kind of warm neutral brown, medium tone brown, not too, not too hectic, and I'm going to take a really dense shader brush and this I'm going to go into the crease. slightly above as well kind of kind of onto the brow bone I don't know if you guys can really see that and then I'm going to take it I'm just going to start blending out that top line again nothing too hectic it might be easier to kind of pull then just blend away okay once you are relatively happy with that 
We're now going to take Coco Bear, also from Makeup Geek. And I take it on a fluffy blending brush, which needs to be washed, don't judge. And again, I'm going to go and start working that into the crease. So Cocoa Bear is just a really red brown, really warm toned. And bringing that under the eye as well. I keep, if you guys notice, I keep doing that. <laughs> I keep looking, I'm like, mm, my eyebrow looks funny, but then I realize it's because I really raised that one. Okay, just calm down, calm down. Once you are relatively happy with the level of blending and whatever there we're going to move on to the next shade and we are going to move on to the the MVP ok jokes you're not at the MVP just yet I'm going to go in with Embark from MAC um, that's the shade right here really nice dark brown on the same blending brush and pop this into the crease. You can also bring this shade up slightly. Okay, now for the fun part, we are going to go in with Cracked from Makeup Geek. Nothing really special about it. Plain black, but I will be. I will say, be careful. This shit is pigmented. Like, I literally just dip this brush in very gently, and it's gonna be like boom. So be careful. So dip your brush in. I'm just gonna use a flat, dense shader brush or blending brush, and I'm just gonna start packing it on to my lid. Once I'm ready to be happy with that, I'm just going to dust off the excess, excess, and then I'm going to start blending that black out. basically this part of the look is all about blending and adding and blending and adding so you want to blend to where you are happy that it's blended out but if you feel like you've lost color payoff then just go dip some more and blend again dip some more blend again you don't want to go and pack a whole bunch on and then struggle to blend it out because it's always easier to add color than to try and blend that shit out so I'm going to go back with that Embark shade from MAC and again I'm just going to work work where that black I'm going to work where that black kind of meets our other shades I'm just going to try to blend that line out make sure it's nice and smooth so I'm ready to be happy with that but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to add in some more black just to really darken up that lid okay so I'm pretty happy with that on top what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Blanc from MAC and I'm just going to go over on top there because there are some areas that are really irritating me like for example the area right there and that's just going to help to blend out that line on top Can go and apply some eyeliner. I am not gonna wing this out. I'm gonna apply some of that black eyeliner. Oh well. Wow. Impressed that this works. Okay, 
You don't have to do this step if you don't want to, but I'm making this super grungy and hectic. Sorry, my contact lenses are being assholes. Yes. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a really dense, kind of like pointed brush with a little bit of craft. And I'm just going to blend this out to make sure it really joins up with the lid on top. Just kind of blend it out a bit. And now I'm going to look for eyelashes. So I would have preferred to wear like a volume lash. This autofocus is irritating. I'm sorry guys. But I don't have any volume lashes. So I'm going to go in with these texture lashes from Alia. These are number 153. Right, so while I'm waiting for that eyelash glue to get really tacky, I think I'm going to do my face. Um, I'm not sure if you guys want to see my face. You know what guys, I love false eyelashes, I really do, but I swear applying them is like the bane of my existence. Right, so now that my eyelashes are on, waiting for them to just dry properly. I don't know, I really don't like these eyelashes there guys. Granted I should have trimmed them, they are a bit too like wide. Which I didn't do, but I don't know. I just don't know if I like them. What do you guys think? Do you like them? So that's basically the finished look, guys. Don't judge my hair. I haven't styled it or anything. It's literally my natural craziness. Which I like. I like the volume. I like it. Whatever. We're not yet for my hair. We're yet for the makeup. I really don't know how to do this without looking absolutely cringe. <laughs> 